Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will talk about the exciting journey of the Detroit Lions. They've just clinched a 30-24 victory on the road against the Minnesota Vikings. With this win, their record stands at an impressive 11-4. For the first time since 1993, they've triumphed in the NFC North. It's a remarkable feat considering their last playoff success dates back to 1991. The expectations for the Lions are soaring beyond just winning the NFC North. It's a significant milestone, no doubt. There were plenty of people who believed in the potential of the Lions to achieve this level of success. Now with an 11-4 record and a stellar performance in primetime games, their upcoming match against the Dallas Cowboys is generating a lot of buzz. Especially after San Francisco's recent loss, Detroit is in the running for the top seed in the NFC. However, some critics still express doubts, particularly about quarterback Jared Goff and the team's defense. I see their recent victory over Minnesota in a different light. Despite Minnesota's desperate need for a win, the Lions prevailed. Nick Mullins of the Vikings threw for over 400 yards, but with four interceptions, it wasn't enough. Some quickly criticized Detroit's defense, but let's focus on that a bit more. Before we continue, if you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe for daily NFL content. So let's break down the game. Detroit dominated possession time, controlling the ball for 38 minutes compared to Minnesota 21. Both teams had roughly 390 total yards, but Detroit's control over the clock was crucial. Despite some defensive shortcomings, they still put themselves in a position to win. Scoring 30 points, which ranks them in the top five for offense in the league, is not a minor feat. The defense, despite criticisms, contributed significantly with four interceptions. In the second half, Detroit shifted their strategy, focusing more on the ground game. Jemire Gibbs and David Montgomery collectively pushed the Lions forward, adapting the game plan to maintain their lead. This change in strategy, especially in the third quarter, is part of Detroit's approach to limit the opposition's chances of a comeback. Finally, let's talk about the Lions' defense. Many are concerned, but it's important to remember the youth and potential of this group. They faced injuries like C.J. Gardner-Johnson, but key players are set to return soon. This young defense is growing and learning together, which bodes well for their future. In the last game, we saw promising signs. For instance, Kirby Joseph and Brian Branch each made key interceptions. This shows the potential and progress within the team, indicating a bright future for the Lions. Let's watch this exciting team as they continue their journey in the NFL. Another standout is Milifon Wu. In the last few games, he's been nothing short of exceptional. Particularly in the Minnesota game, his contributions were game-changing a clinching interception and two sacks. Considering the Lions' season-long struggle with sacks, Malif and Wu emergence is a big deal. He's in his third season and is rapidly becoming a key player to watch. Yes, the Lions had four interceptions and turnovers against the Vikings, but they also allowed 400 yards of passing in just 21 minutes of possession. It's a concern, but we need to see it in context. Defense isn't just about limiting yardage. It's about crucial plays. Interceptions, for example, can be decisive, especially against top teams like Philadelphia, San Francisco, or Dallas. As the season nears its end, the Lions have two more games against Dallas and Minnesota. These matches are opportunities for the team to continue improving and getting healthier. It's an exciting time for Lions fans, and the team's potential is becoming increasingly evident. That's all in today's video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more NFL content. And I'm curious, what are your thoughts on this Detroit Lions team? See you in the next video.